Welcome to Yoga Body Workout to get the lead out. Hi, I'm Leslie. Take a comfortable seat and a deep breath. Place your fingertips onto the earth to feel more grounded. I was able to attend Queen Nation, an amazing Queen cover band last weekend. It was all outdoors and people were social distancing and wearing masks, but it was extremely cathartic. Bring your hands together. I encourage you to put on your favorite music and to dance and to sing like nobody's watching. Enjoy this class. We'll get the let out so that you can go and do it. I hope you do it today, but do it soon. Another deep breath here. And then release your hands and make your way onto table. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll do a couple of cat cows. Inhale, chest forward, lift the chin, lift the tailbone up. Exhale, round the back, chin toward chest, draw the ribs and belly in. Again, inhale, widen across your heart center. Exhale, rounding your back, bring your chin in and engage those core muscles. Inhale, chest forward, look up. Exhale, pull the belly and lift the pelvic floor. Come to neutral, extend your right leg back with your toes on the earth and then lift the right leg up from the inner thigh. Make sure to engage those core muscles as you reach your left arm forward. Holding this, keep your hips level, breathe. And take an inhale to stretch way out. As you exhale, draw your knee and your elbow right into center. And then again, inhale, reach out, extend. Exhale, bring it all in. Inhale, reach, keep dropping that outer hip. Exhale, pull it in like you're moving through water. Reach out, inhale, keep the leg up, but return your hand to the earth. Now, with the toes tucked under on that right foot, draw your left knee to belly. Then inhale, plank. Exhale, right knee to belly. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, left knee in. You can bring your chin down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, right knee into belly. And then back to plank, just for a breath or two, and back down to table. Make sure your wrists are still under your shoulders and do one cat cow. Inhale, bring the heart forward. Exhale, rounding, and then back to neutral. Extend the left leg back, toes tuck under. Now lift the heel straight up, and you can even check to be sure your pelvis is neutral. And take the right arm forward and breathe. Engage your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor muscles to hold this. A lot of core strength. Now exhale, draw the knee in and the elbow right down the center. Inhale, stretch them out. Exhale, pull them in with as much control as you can. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull everything in, make yourself into a little ball. Reach out, inhale, return your right hand down and keep your left leg extended, tuck the toes under, shoulders are under or above wrist. Now right knee in, exhale, plank, and inhale, left knee in, exhale, back to plank. If it's too much, right knee in, you can put your knees down, exhale, plank, Left knee to belly, dropping the chin. Exhale back to plank, shift forward, knees up or down as you lower all the way slowly to your belly. All 10 toenails on the floor. Inhale, peel the chest up for baby cobra. Pull the hands toward the feet. You can stay there or a higher cobra if you want. Maybe release tension in the neck and then lower back down. Tuck your toes under. Your knees can be up or down. Take a big Ujjayi breath in, exhale to plank, and then return to down dog. Bicycling your legs, warming up your down dog. Find your balance between strength and comfort. Stretch back a moment as you breathe here. Arms and ears are in line. Arms are shoulders distance apart, feet, hips, socket distance apart. Outer edges of your feet parallel. Now exhale everything out, come up onto the balls of the feet. Step your feet forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold, bend the knees as you like. 
press down to rise up inhale stretching tall exhale hands to the heart Surya Namaskar A inhale reach up keep the ribs and belly in exhale hinge from your hip creases to fold inhale lengthen halfway lift exhale step to plank knees can be up or down through chaturanga shoulders no lower than the elbows please then inhale upward dog or stick with your cobra exhale downward facing dog even out your breath if your legs are able to straighten firm the muscles without locking the joints and your arms if they're able to straighten as well same thing come on to the balls of the feet exhale it out step or hop forward inhale to lengthen fold on your exhale press down to rise up inhaling and exhale bring hands to heart so we're going to do it again inhale reach up we're going to have less time in our down dog exhale to fold so we're going to pick up the pace a bit inhale look up lengthen exhale step or float if you float land with your elbows bent inhale pressing to up dog or cobra and exhaling to down dog breathe even inhales with even exhales just let your head hang if you want to move your neck and release any tension please do inhale to the balls of the feet exhale everything out step or hop forward lengthen as you inhale and fold as you exhale inhale rising up and exhale hands to heart and again reach up as you inhale hinging from the hip creases fold on your exhale inhale lengthen your spine exhale step or float finding chaturanga inhale press through your hands and feet shoulders above wrists and up dog exhale downward facing dog take a breath in exhale it out bend the knees hips high lightly step or hop inhale lengthen exhale to fold inhale reach your arms up keep your belly pulled in lengthen your sitting bones down hands to heart samastitihi and then i'm turning to the long side you may or may not choose to but press the backs of your hands together and then make a little circle as you make your fingertips move all the way up so you're rolling your wrists giving your wrists a little bit of love since we are spending a fair amount of time on them today so going up and then going back down just a little wrist stretch action and then sweep both arms up feet about hips width apart bring your right arm down and lean over to the right stretching the left side of your body keep your arm and your ear in line and you're welcome to turn your chin up and down if you want to inhale return to center exhale left arm down reach 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 through the right arm and stretch the whole right side of your body keep your leg muscles engaged without locking those knees inhale reach both arms up exhale the hands to heart and turn back to the front of your mat if you did turn to the side so inhale again to reach up fold as you exhale halfway lift inhale stepping or floating for chaturanga exhale upward facing dog or cobra inhale downward dog exhale and we're going to keep moving so inhale plank again exhale chaturanga inhale press through the hands and feet exhale down dog we're going to do this a few times building up some heat to plank inhale to chaturanga exhale up dog thighs and knees off the floor or stick with cobra downward facing dog remember you can always push pause inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhaling upward facing dog and exhaling down dog getting the energy moving plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha ripple the spine forward inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale pressing up and exhale back again inhale 
plank to chaturanga exhale up dog on your inhale and back to down dog on your exhale ripple your spine forward again exhale chaturanga upward facing dog open the chest downward facing dog rippling the spine exhale chaturanga inhale pressing up exhale downward facing dog good work my friend I was just thinking I can't remember how many times we did it but now we're done right leg lifts inhale now bend your knee and open up through that hip give it a, give it a nice little stretch press evenly through the arms look forward draw the thigh in toward the belly and hold a moment and then step right between the hands inhaling for warrior two exhaling making sure your knee is above your ankle firming through the back leg reach through the arms but soften around the neck now bring your left hand behind your back and reverse you can rest that left hand on the right thigh if it works for you now just take a nice reverse warrior softening in the shoulders slowly straighten the front leg keep reversing and now release that hand we'll set up for triangle shorten the stance if you like hinge from the hip crease and reach 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 take your right hand wherever it falls it's not about how deep you get into a pose. If you have a yoga block, use that. Try to lengthen the bottom side of your torso from your right hip crease through the armpit. Now inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, big circle, and then take it behind your back or hook it onto the thigh. Rolling your top shoulder open, getting some stretch right there and some strength. That's the cool thing about yoga. When you firm the muscles, you're getting both. Release that, come to plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale to down dog. Onto the other leg, left leg lifts, inhale. As you exhale, bend your knee, open up your hip. Give it a nice stretch, but press evenly through the arms. And keep your breath steady. Now square off the hips, looking between the hands, bring the thigh in toward the belly and hold a moment, engaging those core muscles and then step the left foot in between the hands. Spin the back heel flat, make sure you've lined up front heel with back arch and double check that your left knee is over the ankle and pointed directly over the middle toes. And if you feel anything in your wrist, you can just bend and straighten those fingertips. Bring your left hand behind you and reverse your warrior. Keep sinking into the front leg and then slowly straighten it. Keep reversing. Now inhale, release your arms back out to a T and set up for triangle. Hinging from your hip crease, reach far as you can comfortably. Take that left hand down wherever it reaches. Never forcing, always using your breath and listening to your body. Then try to Create more length from the front hip through the armpit and then swing that top arm around and behind your back or rest it on your thigh. Keep pressing into the big toe mound of the left foot, firming your calf toward your shin, keeping those muscles engaged without locking your joints. Look down, bend the knee and move through chaturanga, exhaling. Inhale, press up, full breath in and a full exhale takes you to downward dog. Hmm. Just noticing the shift in energy from only 14 minutes of yoga. Now inhale to the balls of the feet, exhale it out, keep your hips high as you step or hop forward. Lengthen your spine, inhale and fold, exhale. Inhale, reach up, stretch, and exhale, hands to hips. I'm going to do a little bit of balancing. Take your feet hip socket distance apart. Cross your right leg over the left either once, or you can hook your toes around your calf if possible. Then left arm over right, touch your palms, or touch your shoulders, your opposite shoulders. Sink down any amount, and keep a nice, steady gazing point. 
focus on firming your hips in as you uncross that top leg, lean forward, visiting warrior three just for a brief moment, and then set that foot down so that you are in a crescent pose. Make sure your left knee's over your ankle, and yes, if you need to wiggle and wobble like I do, that's totally fine. Bending the back knee, tap it down lightly. If you have knee issues, you'll skip this part. Otherwise, take a breath in, exhale, bend, and straighten. Release your arms, bring them up, and then hands to heart center, lean forward, and hook your right arm across for a twist. You can keep the prayer twist. You can take the option of right hand to the earth, left fingertips to the sky, or you may opt for the bind, taking your left hand behind your back and hooking your right hand under the thigh. Whatever works best for you is perfect for you. Release. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling back to up dog. Exhaling back to down dog. Just a breath here. And take a breath in onto the balls of the feet. Exhale it out. Keep your hips high. Engage your bundas. Step or float forward. Lengthen, inhale, and fold again. Exhale. Now bend the knees a moment. Drop the hips for chair pose. Weight into the heels, and then back to standing. Do the other side. Feet hip socket distance apart, outer edges of feet parallel. Cross your left knee over the right where you can hook it around the calf. And then right arm on top of left or touch your shoulders. Sink down any amount and keep a steady focal point. Your outer hips are working to firm, keep your pose firm and lift your pelvic floor muscles and belly too as you uncross your top leg visiting warrior three just for a brief visit today and then we'll set that foot down come to the ball of the foot with the right knee above the ankle make sure that lines up and exhale bend and straighten the back leg if you are bending and straightening try and keep your hips as low as you can so instead of thinking going up and down with your body just think about the knee release the hands reach up arrow straight arms for a moment and then hands to heart lean forward for some length hook your left arm across for the twist oh looks like elmer kitty's waking up <laughs> you can keep your prayer twist or left hand to the earth right arm up these are just options do what's best for your body um, the other option is to bind taking clasping holding your hands or your clothing just a little deeper shoulder stretch and twist. Release that, come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling to upward dog. Exhaling to down dog. Elmer and I were having a little chat right there. <laughs> Stretching back. Releasing tension in places you might be holding. Lift the right leg back and up, inhale exhale bring it up by the right hand and take your left knee down now pad up that left knee if it needs padding especially if you have a thin mat straighten out the run the right leg and fold for half splits Ardha Hanumanasana I'm working on stretching out the backs of the thighs but keep the front muscles engaged option to slide out toward full splits and it doesn't matter if you get down there or not i've been down there all the way before and i can tell you i never found any enlightenment there so <laughs> it's not about the pose do what you can do rebend that knee so you can come into plank exhale chaturanga up dog on your inhale and down dog on your exhale left leg lifts on the inhale exhale stepping it through with the right knee down Inhale to straighten out that left leg, press the heel down, pull the toes back, and lengthen your torso over the leg if you can. But as long as you feel a stretch, doesn't ever matter how deep you go. Just engage your muscles as you stretch the opposing ones. Start to perhaps slide your way out into full Hanumanasana, if that makes sense today and do your very best to keep your hips level. Your hips really have a tendency to want to open up in this one, but we want to keep 
the pelvis neutral. Now we'll re-bend that front knee so you can swing it back to plank and chaturanga. Inhaling back into upward facing dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. Stretch back. Exhale everything out. Come onto the balls of the feet. Step or hop your feet forward. Lengthen as you inhale and fold as you exhale. Now, if you have yoga blocks, you could put your hands on yoga blocks. Now we're gonna do a standing split. So the left leg lifts and you can use your right hand on your calf to try to pull yourself down. Now you're gonna wanna open up your hip just like before. That's what the hip wants to do. But try to drop the outer hip down, keeping your pelvis as neutral as you can as you lift that top leg. Begin to bend that knee and slide it right down your right calf, a little calf massage. Now walk your hands to the right, bend your elbows like they're in Chaturanga, and see if you can come into Parsva Bakasana, Twisted Crow. I've got one elbow under my hip bone and the other elbow just above my knee. You can do it that way or you can rest on one elbow. Just one more, more toward the middle. Coming to center, just take a forward fold and relax a moment. Now once again, feet hips width apart, hands on blocks is perfectly wonderful. And we're gonna do the other leg. So I'm putting that leg back down and we're gonna lift the right leg up and hold on to the left. So as you lift the right leg up, same thing, lift it from your inner thigh and try and drop your outer hip. You can even use your hand to kind of windshield wiper and see if your hips are level. But keep reaching through the leg as you pull on the other leg and now bend to the, the knee and slide it on the calf. A little calf massage. Then you're gonna walk your hands over towards your left side. You can put one elbow toward the knee, the other elbow toward the hip, and perhaps extend the legs out. Now, if you're not used to this pose, it will take a little practice. So I encourage you to come back to this one. And just practice, because that's how you learn poses. Release that and just hang, gently rock side to side, holding your elbows, moving your hips, moving your neck. You let your hands go, just wiggle around, let all of that go. And then halfway up, inhale, supper float, exhale. I scared Elmer with that chaturanga. I guess it wasn't very quiet. <laughs> Inhaling up, exhaling back. And breathe here a moment. And then onto the balls of the feet. Exhale it up and come to seated, stepping or hopping. And use your hands to lie back if you have any back issues or slowly use your belly muscles to lie back. Walk your heels right underneath your knees. And then inhale to lift low back, mid back, maybe upper back into bridge. Grab the sides of the mat or roll your shoulders under, clasping your hands. Spin your inner thighs down toward each other, toward the earth. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees. Keep your neck long. And most importantly, breathe. Now come down. And you can drop the knees in toward one another or soles of the feet together, knees apart, hand on your heart center, hand on your belly, and think of three things that you're grateful for today. Grateful for this breath, this body, this moment, or whatever you're grateful for. And we're gonna do either another bridge pose or if you practice word for down your asana, come to the crown of the head, line up wrists and elbows, and then press up. Keep spinning your inner thighs down. Keep lengthening your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees and pressing your shoulder blades toward your chest to come down from Urdhva, chin to chest first, or lower from your bridge and hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side or make circles. Give your low back a little massage. Then roll up and down. A little more massaging on the back. Make yourself into a little ball. 
feels good. And now just lay on your back and lift your legs toward the sky. Notice that you need to have some engagement in your belly muscles to do this. So feel that, notice it. Now take your hands to the backs of your thighs, bending your knees, bringing your thighs towards your belly, and perhaps straightening the knees, sliding your hands towards your feet. Knees don't have to be straight. Do what works for you. You can hold anywhere along those legs. Never matters how deep you get into a pose. Yoga is an inside job, my friend. And now we'll come back to returning the left foot to the earth and then right ankle just above left knee for a figure four or option to take your right leg into kind of a forklift position or a cradle position. So it's like pigeon pose upside down. The left leg is perfectly fine to be bent with the foot on the floor or if it's straightened out, pull the toes back. And here's another option. You can take that same right leg and try to get your shoulder to hug in there and maybe put your foot behind the head because it's really good for parties. <laughs> no, it's a good stretch. You don't, it can be really intense, so don't push yourself. Now, put your feet and legs in the same position for figure four and then drop them over to the left and turn to look over the right. A little supine twist. This is where I want you to take your biggest breaths of the day. And to center. Left ankle just past the right knee. Flex that ankle. Holding on to the right leg anywhere you like. Staying here or playing around with the forklift. Arms underneath the shin, the calf, or the cradle, elbow to foot and other elbow to knee. The extended leg, remember, you can always keep that bent. And whatever version you choose, just stay there and breathe. And if you're going for the party trick, you take the foot out to the side a little and try and get your left shoulder underneath that thigh and the foot kind of behind the head, almost. <laughs> yep. Popular party trick. <laughs> now you can come back to the way that your legs were, like the figure four, and then drop them over to the right as you look to your left and take your biggest breaths of the day. These are important breaths. Really fill up your inhales and release your exhales. Now release that. Hug your knees into your chest once again. Lengthening your low back toward the earth. And we'll make our way to our final resting pose. So lengthening through the low back, drawing shoulder blades away from the ears. Allow your body to completely relax. Natural breathing, just be. It's only for a short minute, if that. Our quote today comes from Winston Porter. Dance like no one's watching. Love like you've never been hurt. Sing like no one's listening. Live like it's heaven on earth. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana rest. And begin to deepen your breath. Move your fingers, your toes, your hands and feet, arms and legs, long stretch. And bend your knees, roll onto your right side and take this opportunity to honor yourself. You are showing up for yourself and taking care of yourself and that is not always easy to do. So nice work. 
We're going to come to seated hands together. Bring your hands to your forehead, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to your mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication. Sending positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. When you have strong core muscles, your body feels great. No more back pain. I've created a special class just for you so that you can strengthen yours. There's a link below or it's pinned at the top of the comments. If you enjoyed today's class, you will love this class as well. And give this a try.